What up YouTube, it's your boy Savio back at again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into a video that I didn't expect to do, and in fact, only one person recommended this video to me, but there's a story behind it and that is why we're doing it. This video was recommended to me by Vivi, one of my moderators. She's probably in the chat right now, cussing out a hater or something. Love you, Vivi. And it came from the August D, August D reaction, one half of the pair of videos that I released last time I released videos, whenever you guys are seeing this, because I have no idea when this is going up. And something happened where I asked, who is this a reference to? Something of that nature. And the comment section lit up with somebody named Be Free. And I had no idea who this person was. I still barely know who this person was, but I'll get into that in a second. And I was really curious, so I went to the infamous group chat that I have with all of my moderators on Twitter, and I asked them, I was like, who is this Be Free person? And they were like, just know that this is like the original BTS beef, and that all of ARMY hates this person. And Vivi said, here's a video roasting this person. It will also explain who this person is. And so I said it's a reaction from a duo called, I'm gonna call them Foe Squad because there's not like the dots in between the FO. So I don't think it's an acronym. So I'm gonna just call them Foe Squad. Their channel has like over 400,000 subscribers. So if you see me taking notes, that's me trying to figure out how to get my channel bigger. Oh, one other thing that I was told is that this is the person who made the comment in the Karma is Army video that I felt some type of way about where he said that they were girls because they were wearing makeup or something of that effect. Something about them being feminine for wearing makeup. And I was like, the hell? I'm curious to get into this. You guys know me. I'm petty. I, I, I like the drama. And I, I want to see him get roasted. These are two black dudes and... um. Black people have perfected the art of roasting people. So um, I expect this to be hilarious and this to be great. So I don't want to take up too much more time because this has already been long explaining how we even got to this point. I don't know how many people are going to watch this, but she said this is a video that I'm going to want to have the camera on when I'm watching. So here we go. I'll see you on the other side. Peace. You're going to Tim you up. <laughs> Step on your ass, nigga. Listen, bro. Huh. I don't even know how to put out this in motion. <laughs> Okay, all right, real quick. I know we're only 11 seconds into the video and I'm stopping. All haters or Savio antis, eat your heart out. For the people who are not black or, or even American or just don't have a lot of experience with the black culture, other than laughing, I'm probably going to do a lot of decoding. So the Tim You Up line, that is a reference to a particular brand of shoe, which is worn a lot, especially by East Coast black people. Think New York, Philly, that kind of area. And they're called Timberlands, they're boots. They're sh often shortened to Tims. And Timming someone up is basically saying the equivalent of, we're all going to show up and we're going to stomp you out. We're gonna knock you to the ground and just stomp on you. We're gonna step on you. We're going to crush you under our foot like a bug. And the fact that this video, no intro at all, just started off with my man in the, the orange. I don't know if he's the F or the O, it don't really matter. He came out with the energy. I'm gonna like this video a lot, bro. I'm, a, I'm just telling you right now. So a lot of y'all said in my Daichita, I think that's how you say it. In that reaction, I didn't give you guys a headphone warning early enough. I mean, I pinned it in the, in the comment section. You guys just didn't. Apparently, you guys don't read my pinned comments. I don't know. But this right here, this section is your headphone warning because I'm sure this video about to get loud. So, all right, M, nigga, I will get up and whack that nigga. <laughs> nah, right here, I'll be like, all right, bet. And then I'll prove to you, nigga. But that I'm, I'm the shit. To say, or I'm and then you the look at me and you tell me I'm sorry. I swear to God, nigga, it's up. Or I'm trying to actually rather. You know what? Let me try this. Let me try this. Try. I'm gonna go ahead and search up. Let's go. To Are Google. they googling him? Okay. All right. Okay. Close one. Are wow. they Google themselves? Oh shit. We actually pulled up. Oh, it is foe. Okay, so it's it's F O foe squad. What does that stand for? If you guys know, tell me. I'm interested. Like, is that their first name? Like, is that like Omar and? I, don't, I can't think of a, a black name that starts with F off the top of my head. The first thing I thought of was Freddie, but I have never, never met a black dude named Freddie. That could be his name. I don't know. I ain't hating. But is that the first letters of their name or is that like actually related to something K-pop related? Wow. A lot of 
lot of beautiful thumbnails. Nice. Let's go ahead and try this. Be free. In conclusion, <laughs> <laughs> we are more <laughs> relevant than your damn, bro. You are so irrelevant. Like, I'm so sorry. Please be healthy. Should just. <laughs> Wait, okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this video is gonna be so long, bro. Okay. <laughs> what is this this be healthy thing with that that he just said? Then on the that looks like lyrics. On the, who is that? Hold on. Okay, that's Sugar's face. So at some point, Sugar says be healthy in a diss. Nerds, I need some explaining. Just said it already, bro. Ooh, I'm nigga. so sorry. You a bitch. Here's what I'm gonna do, right? I'm going to say two words, right? And I feel like at the platform we're at right now, some some armies would like to say this, but won't be able to say this. Okay. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull this out of my heart, and just say it. And I'm going to pull it out of army's heart and take the whole family, right? Mm -hmm. to say, be free. That's so mood. That's my whole karma is army series, bro. Just me saying stuff that army are too nice to say. Raw positivity have been. Oh, hold on. Raw positivity have been. What's good, man? This is my look. That's kind of a mood though, like that is that is half of my channel. Just turn the camera on, hit play, have no idea what's about to happen, and that's kind of, that's my reaction to this. If you guys ever see this though, know that this is hilarious. I'm trying not to de completely destroy people in headphones just by laughing over this entire thing, but this is already straight common. This is the dumbest, this nigga's so stupid bro. He fucked up, he fucked up big time. And now he's trying to apologize. Your name is B Free. You should be be gone, nigga. Your name is B Free, bitch. You should be be gone. Stop it. Stop it. You a dumbass, and you know you a dumbass. Now you trying to just, bro. You said so many reckless shit. <laughs> you could never take that shit back. So look, we about to start. We about to start with like checking out his music video, and then we gonna check out what he said to BTS, you know, RM and okay. Sugar. Okay. And then we just gonna keep going from there. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's go, man. But bro, this idiot. I'm not even gonna get into that yet, bro. I'm, 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 I'm gonna hold the T a little bit. Go ahead, hold the T. Let's go ahead and smash that like button and start this video now. All right, man. First things first. <laughs> we gonna see what he been working. First things first. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. We, I remind we never react to any stuff. I guarantee you, 160 percent, mm. we're not gonna finish this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not even gonna let you, like, bro. If you're trying to like claim our shit, that's that's out. Like, <laughs> don't try to make money off of this. Like, <laughs> I know you broke, but look, let's go. This point a basketball court. Big stupid ass. <laughs> Let me see what he's going to do. Why the fuck you got a towel on your head to start with, my nigga? Nigga, this is the most un... Look who's wearing makeup now. <laughs> fuck with you. Fuck with you. Who's this? 99% oh, no. of the army, bro. Everybody fucking with this nigga. Oh, Look at these dislikes. Gosh. Go ahead, do that for Easy. us. Let's find out what I... Yikes. Okay, hold on. I can't really talk because you know I'd be reckless with the mouth, but this is... This right here is... <laughs> This is why you have to be careful who you spit on and who you step on. Because you never, never know how karma is going to turn it around. I've seen so many stories of people treating people like dirt. And then that person getting promoted to being their boss. Like, oh, oh. Now, obviously, BTS isn't his boss. I mean, 
I'm assuming BTS isn't his boss. I don't know why Big Hit would hire him. But I know ARMY every day. Every single day he wakes up, ARMY is at this nigga's neck, bro. So you could say one or two things. It sounds like he said a lot of stuff. But you could say one or two things to the wrong person. He's going to have to move to Pluto, bro. Because till the day he dies, ARMY is going to be on his throat. There are going to be people like them. People like me, because you know I be getting reckless, who just gonna be all up his behind, bro. This is about to get ugly. This is gonna get real ugly. It actually happened together, all right, all right? Let's go ahead and do that together. So, we're gonna react to, we're gonna like, um, fast forward at the same time, but this title says, Be Free Disrespecting BTS Rap Monster and Sugar. So, let's go ahead and see where this starts. Did they cut out reacting to his uh, video because he tried to copyright claim the video? That would be hilarious, but also I kind of wanted to see what his music is like. Just, okay, just because we disagree on our opinions about BTS does not mean that his music is instantly trash, but yikes. And that like to dislike ratio just whew. Okay. Oh shit, is BTS D right? Yeah. What the fuck? You don't even know the name. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Again, I've seen this before. I know this clip eventually leads to like the makeup comment, but I'm confused on what's happening here. I don't know. First off, not everybody up there are BTS members. Let's start there. Not all of the BTS members are up there, it looks like. And also, there's other people up there who aren't in BTS. What is going on here? Why are people laughing? Are they laughing at BTS getting hated on? Are they laughing at the person hating? Who's asking the question? Yeah, I just need context is, is the point because I'm a little lost. Sometimes when people edit these videos, they just immediately into the scene. But for Baby Army, I'd be lost. So I don't be, I don't be knowing what's going on. I need more context. First off, like RM does not have to redeem himself from doesn't have to sit here and freeze free I mean, out. I remind you. Like, this is the rap monster. We don't need to do that shit. So already, you fucking up. I'm pissed already. 2013. This was a little while back, though. Right? This is when they were working their way up. Which, at this time, that's probably already up, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you're not supposed to be throwing shade or trying to shit on them. Because at the end of the day, you're the only one being shitted on. On me. You know what I mean? So it's like... I don't think that they were up at this point because they debuted in 2013, right? To, to my knowledge, they debuted in 2013, which means that it, it could have been that long after they debuted and they probably weren't that big then, especially because if they were, none of this would have been happening. This, I guarantee ain't nobody taking no public direct shots at BTS now or even three, four years ago. So yeah, they could... they. The person who's doing this couldn't have thought that BTS would have had the trajectory that they've had. And so it had to be before that could that could have been seen. What are you doing, fam? Yeah, you're being like, I'm from the Bronx. I'm from New York. You know what I mean? We gonna cut you. Oh, we gonna tim you up. <laughs> Step on your ass, nigga. Listen, bruh. Huh. I don't even know how to put out this emotion. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. That's... That is a very New York nigga thing to say. We, we finna tim you up. To, dudes in LA, they don't talk like that. That's not a West Coast thing. We don't say that out here. That's a very much East Coast thing. And if, if somebody from the East Coast says that to you, you should run because he's serious. Like, I know like there's a lot of laughing and joking in this video, but I promise you, I promise you on everything I love, if this man was in this room with these two dudes right here, it would be over. Camera off, camera knocked on the ground, People would have been screaming and crying, hide your kids, hide your wife, everything. It's over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause nigga, bro, I'll be fine myself, bro. If I was RM, nigga, I would get up and whack that nigga. <laughs> nah, right here, I'd be like, I right, bet. And then I'll prove to you, nigga. But then I'm, I'm the shit. To say, RM and then you look at me and you tell me I'm sorry, I swear to God, nigga, it's up. <laughs> It's up, nigga. You said I swear to God it's up, nigga. Cause nigga, you looked at me in the eyes and you basically said I ain't I ain't shit, right? Exactly. Fast forward. 
six years, seven years later, you come to me like, yo, bro, I'm sorry. sorry. I averaged like 16,000 views now. Soul Squad has more views than me. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I look up, like, you know what I mean? When I look up my own name on YouTube, let's see what happens. <laughs> I see you guys. I see BTS. Like, like you know what like, I mean? Bro, it's kind of like. Be better. I'm just trying to better myself at this point. I'm so sorry. I will suck the f on me, but the thing is, we don't got time for that shit. We making money. Right. <laughs> like, honestly, if I was be free, you know what I mean? And I was all like, boom, right? I said what I said. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. This is a, these guys are very much on that keep that same energy mentality, which is like, if you didn't mess with me, you ain't never gonna mess with me, bro. Like, you either with me or you against me. There ain't no in between. There ain't no switching sides. Pick your side and stick with it, right? And while I agree with that, I do try. I, I try. I don't always succeed. You know, my moderators help me out a lot on this, but I try to be forgiving. I don't ever forget. If you've ever, ever left a hate comment on any of my videos, trust me, I know your name. I know what your profile picture looks like, and I know word for word what you said. But, but, I try to be forgiving, and I try to be nice, and I try to be respectful, because I understand that we've all made mistakes. I've made mistakes. Now, I mean, I, I, I haven't made this mistake. This this is a bad mistake. But I do try to, to be loving. I don't know if BTS would like us to personally be like, you could die forever. But I, I understand. I, I so, I so understand. Three years later, the person I basically tried to shit on is shitting on me. I would go in my fucking shell, nigga. I'm not saying sorry. I'm not saying nothing. I'ma just say what? exactly. <laughs> but what he fucking do? He this literally all you gonna hear, bro. Nothing. That's fucking it. Literally. From me. Nothing. But your dumb ass wanna go and apologize, and now you look dumb as fuck. See, look, I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones that fucking dissed your ass. Like you, you dumb. Bro, let me show You're you. Not. This is the apology he said. He just tweet at their fans. I am so sorry for all the emotional pain I've caused. Please forgive me. Wish the best. Bitch. You a bitch. <laughs> what? Look, this is the thing she was saying. You guys could have taken the world, the world towards becoming rappers, but you couldn't beat that temptation. Basically, what's happening in right, this Right, practically, right? All right, cool. So everything he said here is gonna be named in this. All right, let's just keep going with this video okay. for now. All right. <laughs> Bruh, you not getting pissed from watching this shit? It's like here. Here's what I'm gonna do, right? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna say two words, mm. right? And I feel like mm. at the platform we're at right now, some some armies would like to say this, but won't be able to say this. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna pull this out of my heart and just say, and I'm gonna pull it out of Army's heart and take the whole family, right? Mm -hmm. Say, be free. I'm That's sorry, it. you are just a bro. We can't just forgive you, bro. That's it, bro. I know you're watching this too. Bro. I don't have nothing else to say, bro. Let's keep going. I want to be healthy, bro. Be healthy. Please be healthy. <laughs> Where the fuck you come from? In our country, not it was not Mexico. Nigga, you know how global we are, my nigga? It's not about, nigga, we planetary, and I hope that's a word. Stupid, bro. Stupid as shit, bro. I'm still a little lost because I'm trying to get the full understanding of the situation before I spaz, but... Hearing, do you know how global we are? We are planetarian, nigga, is hilarious. Straight hilarious. These dudes are hilarity. I didn't know that there was this many black people reacting to K-pop on YouTube, but I'm so happy because this is hilarious, bro. Between these two and the other two black guys from the, um, uh, I don't remember what the original video was called, but I've been calling it the I'm not gay but Jimin video. You know what I'm talking about. The, the dudes question their sexuality because of Jimin video. There's two black guys in that who had like a Naruto poster behind them and one of them had like cornrows cutting up, bro. I was dead every time they were on the screen. And these dudes, first off, I'm surprised they weren't in that reaction. But second off, like just so, 
just, ah, I, I love black people so much, bro. Just so funny. I don't even understand racism. Like, I don't know how you don't think black people be funny. Like, how? Black country, bitch, we a whole planet. We all know what's good with BTS. What is he talking about? Music is, bro, I, it's this, this is what I'm trying to music say. It's music. Music is music, bro. It's art what? creativity, bro. It speaks a universal language. And my, oh, there's rules to music now? <laughs> crazy part about it like the the amount of people who will forever like forever every single day they wake up just make sure that that man is having a bad day is horrifying like literally it makes me want to delete my whole youtube channel right now because again i'll be reckless with the mouth i'll be saying some stuff i really don't be caring so if i say something that i will leave the whole internet like my dude in the orange said look what's lou Lou Ball Out? Some Lou Ball Out, I think, is his name. So Lou Ball Out, just like he said, I will be silent, bro. I will move to a deserted island and I will strand myself there. Burn the boat. I'm not coming back because I don't want to deal with y'all mess. This man got to deal with that every day. I just want people to see this video. Oh, he gonna see it. I just want he him to see, see it so see bad. It, Oh my gosh. Watch this pussy ass nigga fucking <laughs> shit. Oh shit. <laughs> nigga, fuck this nigga. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not in the position to to just be like, I don't care if you sue me. So don't be sharing this with him. I don't need those problems, bro. You see the quality of my camera. You think I got being sued money? So when you go suing people, because you definitely, based off what I know so far, you definitely seem like the type to be just suing people for defamation of character or oh whatever. I mean, you did this to yourself, but this, whatever. Remember me, Asavio, this black guy. Cause I know y'all think we all look the same. We don't, we're different. We're not the same people, okay? This one is not for the mess. Let me put it this way. And if you do, you ain't gonna make no money, okay? Yeah, I ain't got nothing that you want. And I am very close with quite a few very good attorneys. So even though I don't have money, I could get a lawyer, but you're just not gonna, <sighs> You're not gonna get nothing from me, okay? So just, just don't do it, all right? Don't, no, just for your sake. If you think they are bad, please, please, please sue me, piss me off, and see how petty I get. I'm sure everybody watching this video would love to see that. <laughs> I cannot believe this, I swear to God. I really cannot believe this. Well, I, I swear to God, I cannot believe this. I feel you, bro. This is so dumb. Would you, I'm sweating. Would you ever say sorry after that? Nah, bro. You know it's not I would be. Well. Honestly, Jin, it's, it's either two things, bro. He wants to be uh, friends with BTS again. That's or, not happening. He knows that. Right? He, he or he wants some come. clout to get some money, right? Yeah, 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 Those yeah, are the yeah, only yeah, things, yeah, yeah. too. That but I sense. personally would just be quiet. Yeah. Bang, yeah. bang Tang boys are doing their thing. BTS, they're doing what they do. You know what I mean? I would just shut up. 0.0. Because now, and then the crazy thing is BTS didn't even respond, bro. Why the fuck would they? Nigga, let us. Look, we gonna respond. <laughs> Not them. Given this nigga, here's a fucking we gonna respond. <laughs> Not them. Beef we actually have helped us. Yeah. How? Helped us. How? He made he oh, made he them helped like us fuck him up. He basically <laughs> said, yo, <laughs> yo, don't kill me. No. Listen, <laughs> listen. He helped us because he's the reason they made the cypress. Oh. You 
Oh! God bless D Freak. Like, no, nah, like that nigga. No, 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 Listen, what MGK, um, Eminem. MGK okay. fucked up and said some crazy shit to Eminem. What did Eminem do? He brought the nigga, like us black people, bro, we love this tracks and shit like that. That's facts. We, we live for the beef, okay? We out here full barbecuing the beef, dog. But, um, for the people who don't know the MGK Eminem reference, Everyone knows who Eminem is. You may or may not know who MGK is. Currently, he's dating Megan Fox, which is this whole other thing that I'm not even sure how that happened. But MGK is a rapper. He is from Cleveland, Ohio, I believe. And I only know that because LeBron. And he made some some sketch comments about... Was it Jay? Was it Haley? One of Eminem's daughters on Instagram, who is a quite attractive woman, but it's not... He, he the, the stuff he said was towing the line and M being the real nigga that he is. Yes, M is a real nigga. We have already decided this. Black people have drafted him to niggadom. He is black. He's just albino. It's not up for discussion. Eminem, black. Marshall Mathers, black. Okay? Okay. So, being the real nigga that he was, he, he called him out on it on his radio show, Shay45. Which, yes, he's Eminem, so he has his own entire radio network because he's Eminem. Duh. And MGK got really butthurt about being called out about it and made, I think, two songs before M responded to... It was a diss verse on a Tech 9 song, and then he made a diss track called Rap Devil, which was like a response to Eminem's Rap God, which was not about MGK at all in any way. This prompted Eminem, arguably the greatest rapper ever, which we can have that debate, not, not the point of this video, but he definitely in the vast majority of people's top five, to respond and incinerate him. Um, it was bad. Like, it was, it was a series of, of incinerations. It was just... Just blow after blow after di diss track after diss track after entire album just, just destroying his career. Yeah, it didn't go well for MGK at all. Like, it, 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 it was just bad. And he tried to say some other stuff back and then the entire Eminem fan base would... I don't even know what the Eminem fan base is called. The, the Shady... Shady Click? I don't know. But the entire Eminem fan base basically just nuked MGK's life in a similar way, and then MGK disappeared, and then when he popped up again, he was dating Megan Fox. He had like stole her from her husband or something. I don't know. I don't get that situation. But yeah, this this is kind of similar to that. The only difference is MGK was like very much combative about the whole thing. Yeah, that's a little rap beef history for you if you did not know what that was a reference to. Yeah, we love that shit. So look, right. Cypher 1, 2, 3, 4 was a blessing. Mm -hmm. This is my point, right? He was doing it. Mm -hmm. He's doing what he's doing to down to downgrade them, to make them feel bad with you. They came out with the Cypress, right? So basically, right? This is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're showing him their strength. Basically saying, nigga, I can, I can knock down anything you throw my way. Exactly. Basically, right? Because he didn't know, right. he didn't know that this one come out with the Cypress. I didn't hear a fucking reply from him either. I don't even got time to search that shit on my nose. Does he even? Is he, he's actually an artist. Like I don't know. All I know is I searched the beef ring. I saw bread. So I'm, <laughs> so many things more relevant than him. So uh, I don't think so. Artists are actually relevant. You know what? Let me try this. Let me try this. Try. I'm gonna go ahead and search up. Let's go to Google. Okay. All right. Okay. Close one. Their intro is very interesting. They piece together pieces of the video into their intro, but I didn't notice. It seemed pretty seamless. Like, yeah, I could tell that there was editing, but it didn't seem like these were from completely different points of the video. Again, I'm still not 100% sure on the things that he has said specifically. So again, nerds, get to nerding in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. But Overall, I, I like the energy, bro. I like, I, I like this. I'm, I'm with it. I'm not big hit. I'm not gonna tell my fans to, to not be petty and destroy a hater. If someone comes for me, I, I, I would love be free to come for me, 
just so the little bit of wolf pack that I have now, I could watch them just nuke him. Because that would be hilarious. Yeah, that's... Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh, man. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, be free. I take back everything I said. I do want you to sue me. I want a video in response to this. Send me a diss track. Everything. I want a Twitter rant. All of it. Just go full Donald Trump on me and just lose your mind. Because clearly, when you come for people's head, they explode and break records. And, um... I, I could use some of that. You're like the anti-death of people's careers. So, um, these guys are very big. BTS is very big. Your boy trying to be big. So, by all means, shots to me. Bring them. Wow. Oh, shit. We actually pulled up. We actually showed up. Wow. A lot of beautiful thumbnails. Nice. Let's go ahead and try this. Be free. In conclusion. <laughs> We are more fucking relevant than your bitch ass, nigga. Damn, bro. You are so irrelevant. Like, I'm so sorry. Please be healthy. Should have said it already, bro. I'm, you, I'm so sorry. You a bitch, bro. I feel you, nigga. I'm sorry, What's up? Free. No. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta breathe. <laughs> we okay, okay. When that's how you know, like watching that scene again, I picked up on other stuff that I didn't see the first time. Like, when he grabbed him, he was trying so hard not to spill his drink. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I love black people, bruh. Oh, this, is, this is so good. This is good for my soul, bruh. Like, this, this is the exact... This is the level of petty I am. I love this. I'm gonna be in this comment section, bro. If you go to this video and see Asavio the artist on a, in a bunch of replies, I no, I'm in this comment section. You a f on top of a that makes you a f that makes you the king of the f the only king you rep is the f I'm sorry, bro. You such a f nigga. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm no. getting that ain't, bro. No. I want to watch some more of this video. Bro. All right, cool. I don't know if I can take it really, but because RM is really like he's being like mature. But all right, trolling is for kids. All right. Are we trolling right now? Yeah, we kids anyway. You feel me? I just got this mustache. You Tricks are for kids. <laughs> How the fuck is that a conflict with hip hop though? What? Putting on makeup, artists do this, bro. bro. Actors do this. This is for the camera to look right, nigga. What? This is like, this even... is like filtering your fucking selfies, dumbass. It's like, oh, it's bro. You sound so like ignorant. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. You sound so ignorant, bro. Yes. Like, what are you? Okay, I know, I know. This video is gonna be 800 years long. I, I don't care at this point. I really, really, really love that we have not one, but two black dudes. And one of them is already confirmed to be from New York, which if you don't know, is the literal birthplace where on the birth certificate or whatever the equivalent in your country is of hip hop, it says New York, okay? This is the birthplace of hip hop. There there would be no hip hop without New York, okay? I've, I've always and will always rep the West Coast, but I understand the importance of New York as far as not just, just hip hop, but black culture, period. And they, they are coming for these people's necks. Now that's not to say that other countries can't do hip hop because that's the equivalent of people saying you can't like anime unless you live in Japan. That's dumb. However, it is very funny that people from a country that did not create this are now adding rules to this for people from that same country and then people from the country that that was created in are then coming back and being like, ah, that's not a rule, bro. That's, nope, you're just a hater. I find it quite amusing. It is quite pleasing to my soul. Bro, I, I'm embarrassed and I don't even know you. Come on now, yo, you need to learn, bro. Yeah, I think he learned, though. Now. <laughs> what? Just shut the front door. Come on, That's what they do. Who's the See? No. But I wish I saw this first and then saw the ciphers. 
What? That would have made the reaction so, so much, much better, bro. Why have not tell us, man? Oh my god. I was so happy I haven't reacted to the cyphers yet. Coming soon though. But Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, that made me so happy and so, so vindicated and validated in my decision to hold off on them for a while. It's, it's been for a purpose. I've seen your comments. Do the ciphers, one through four. Do the ciphers, one through four. One, two, three, four. I've seen them, I promise. I've, they're on the list. It's coming. It's not here yet, obviously, but they're coming and I'm happy. I am happy that I now know the birth of the ciphers. I now know what they are from. Oh See, I gosh. learned about this pussy ass nigga in fucking in the comments. That's where I learned it. Yeah. I really never watched. It. Did we? No, we had never. We just did some because everybody was saying he's a, he's he's a bitch. So we did some research and we fucked him up. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't even matter, bro. At the end oh, of the I day, missed that. What was that? A camera turned off midway. Okay, okay. Doesn't even matter, bro. At the end of the day. It's okay to be yourself. What you want to be, who you choose to be, is a hundred percent up to you. You can't just judge somebody. I don't care if you. I don't care who it is. LGBTQ, like I don't care about that shit. You're like gay, you can't transgender, just be homophobic out of like nowhere. For else. no reason, bro. Like for what? It's none of your business. It's really none of your business. That's how you get slapped up. Nigga. Remember that. At this point, happened. I don't even want to finish this because I feel I like I'm gonna really get I'm, heated. Yeah, I'm if I keep this. doing this shit, because it's really no point. Yeah. You know what I mean? But look, let's end this bitch. We love you guys, Popcorn Family. Not you, bitch, for you, a bitch, but Popcorn <laughs> Family, we fuck with you guys. We love you guys. And without further ado, we are out. Peace. I like it. Okay, so I really enjoyed that video. It was it was hilarious. This video has been super long. I have like 45 minutes of unedited footage already, so Yikes, I don't know how many people are gonna watch this one. I don't know how many people will be searching for this But of the people who do watch it, I'm not sure how many of you will actually make it this far into the video I appreciate you if you did of course Let me know in the comment section down below so I can thank you personally But I appreciate everyone who stuck around who stuck through this those guys were hilarious and I love their energy And I love the energy of army as a whole like I am not of the belief that a fan base should just turn the other cheek. Now, I think that artists should turn the other cheek because they should focus on, you know, making the, the art that is their calling, that's what they're supposed to do. But the fan base, the fan base is supposed to ride for the people who they are fans of. And so I respect the fan bases of Beyonce, of BTS, of Taylor Swift or Lady Gaga. You know, people who have fan bases that are very dedicated on trashing people who trash on their artists because at the end of the day, nobody forced people to open their mouth and be negative about said artist in the first place. So whatever comes to you, you had coming. Now, there are people who are nice and say, no, we shouldn't do that. We should all just be, be nice and, and love them through it. And, and while I do somewhat agree with that, I respect the fans for, for keeping that same energy, you know, for being, being real about it. So I appreciate these guys of my fan base or whatever, my little bit of family, that I got here on YouTube, the Wolfpack. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. I have seen you guys defending me to racist and hate comments already, and I appreciate it. I'm not gonna call the dogs off, so if you're a hater being a hater, you got what's coming to you. I have three moderators. One is nice just to keep us all grounded and sweet, and the other two are savages just like me. So if you feel some type of way, just know that it's, it's coming to you, you know? And I respect ARMY, and specifically in this case, Foe Squad, for choosing to to make this video and to like really let him know like dude what you did was not right and you can't just turn around and act like we just all forgot even though bts is bigger than that and they're they're more responsible and respectful and not just going to straight out dog you minus the ciphers so this video is great if you enjoyed this video definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and share and we will see all you guys next time guys peace